Hi, it's Dr. Cook. Uh, today I'm talking about five criteria of normal peritoneum that was first published by Dr. Redwine way back in 1988. Um, and these are subtle changes at the time of laparoscopy that the surgeon needs to be aware represent endometriosis. So there's different, there's a lot of different uh, appearances, but these are a couple of important ones here. So you can see no abnormal vascular pattern, no vessels hidden by opacities, no discoloration of any color, no uh, specular reflections or what I call fine miliary uh, clear vesicular endometriosis, and no retroperitoneal cystic structures. And a brief uh, example of each, uh, here we have a photograph of uh, these abnormal vascular patterns that are seen in the uh, peritoneum uh, where th what happens the peritoneum should be thin and transparent as it gets endometriosis makes it thicker so you can see a blood vessel and then they do disappear that's actually pretty common uh, finding the discoloration again uh, i also did a, a case report on stage two endometriosis has some good examples of this uh, but you're looking for these abnormal areas in color, the orange in here, the darker red, uh, you can get brown, black. And then this, uh, again, the, this is actually reflection of the peritoneum, but the reason you have all these tiny dots is that there's little bumps of endometriosis. And again, if you don't look closely, they're easy to miss. And then here's an uh, example of the retroperitoneal uh, inclusion. So. These five different things, uh, again, if the surgeon doing the diagnostic laparoscopy is not familiar with them, they're very easy to overlook. Again, another reason to have adequate photo documentation. So uh, if we need to have an expert look at it, then we can do that without doing another surgery. Alrighty, that's it for today.